I always get a little bored with football by the end of September because I just absolutely fucking OD on it. And uh, But then what the cure is, is now they're going to dress him up like a bunch of new, you know, newborn baby girls for the next month. And, um, you know, which, of course, is going to just fucking annoy the shit out of me. I, you know, this infiltration of the NFL with all of this shit, I'm telling you, they, they're going to. They just they're they're gradually women are gradually going to take over the NFL. This is my prediction. Where Paul Verzi predicts Super Bowl winners, I like to predict random shit. Like my prediction to Paul is that Rex Ryan is going to have an altercation with a fan this year. I don't think physical. I think he's gonna he's he's gonna have a fuck you fuck you fight that is going to be caught on camera either as he walks out of a stadium, his or somebody else's. Or it's going to be outside like a Hooters or a Waffle House. All depends. Um, Till one and three. You know, the heat's getting turned up and and he is, uh, that guy's wired. He's got a short fuse, okay? And I can relate to that. So I know he he's, people are going to start saying shit to him and he is going to fucking snap because that's the way he's wired. And uh, I don't wish it on the guy, but uh, whatever he says is going to be fucking great. And probably put on a T-shirt. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm predicting that. That's one of my. That's my first prediction for this year. If you just want who's going to fucking you know lead the league in rushing, you go listen to the Verzi effect. All right. If you want to hear the fucking I don't know flying saucer Illuminati shit, you listen to this one. All right. And if something comes in, I'll say I got lucky. That's the difference right now between me, a goddamn gentleman, and that fucking animal from New Jersey, Paul Verzi. <laughs> now, listen to the Verzi effect. He actually, he's pretty good at picking a uh, Super Bowl guy. Super Bowl guy, Super Bowl team. All right, so here we go. That's my first prediction. Rex Ryan is going to have a, an altercation with the fan uh, that is going to get him fined. Or at the very least, put on TMZ. All right, number two, my next prediction is over the next 10 years, women will infiltrate infiltrate the NFL to the point that um, they, they're going to fucking ruin it. They're going to ruin it. I don't understand why they have to be a part of it. Is this sexist? I don't understand. I don't get it. It's a men's football league. Can we just have one thing? They're gradually creeping in. They got the whole month of October with the fucking, uh, with the pink stuff. They got that. And now, now they got the ladies. They got them down on the sidelines. They got to go down to them every fucking 10 minutes, check in on them. What do you think there, Ethel? Well, he, they saying it's a high ankle sprain and he's wincing in pain and he cannot put any weight on it. That's all I got down here in the sidelines. Thank you very much, Felicia. Oh, gee, she does a wonderful job. Um, and then eventually they're going to be like, well, why can't we be in the booth? Then they'll be in the booth. Why can't there be an all-female commentating team? Then there'll be two of them. And, th- and then, it's, then the escape is gone. The escape is gone. What what if, you know what a healthy relationship is is a, is, is you got to have time away from each other. See, you miss each other. You got to fuck off the ladies. They got they, late, women have to be able to take off, go have a fucking glass of wine with all their girlfriends, and then just talk about how lousy in bed you are. They need that, so then they can come back and just fucking deal with you for the next six days. They have to have that, and and, and that you know guys are no different. Why don't women start their own football league? Why, why are they? Why are they? <laughs> I'm gonna get so much shit for this. Why don't? Why do they keep fucking bellying up to our bar? You know, fucking beat it. <laughs> Look, you know I'm fucking half joking here. I'm only half joking. Um, do you know how bad I would love to somehow? Get in a room full of feminists 
without them knowing that I was a stand-up comedy and, and go on go on a panel, all right, with like those black frame glasses and just start saying over-the-top ridiculous shit like I just said, right? And just just see how mad I could make them. Oh, God, those are the things I fantasize about. Like if I had the ability, like one of those fucking... Who are those fucking nerds that nobody understands and they can make fire and ice? You know, they make the, they made like 20 movies. Halle Berry's in it. She has all white hair. The fucking, the mutants there. Uh, nobody understands us. Uh, it's, a, it's a fucking metaphor for nerds and racism. I got it. The first 18 of them. Jesus Christ, just get on with the karate. What the fuck are they called? Not the impossibles. Oh, my God. I have no short-term memory. I keep thinking the Fantastic Four. Like, for some reason, I keep picturing them all in blue. What are they called? The Expendables. The Impossibles. The Mutants. Uh, It'll come to me. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And then the guy from Star Trek is one of the guys, and he's in a wheelchair. Oh, my God. What the fuck are they called? Begins with an I, doesn't it? Invincible. Whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't even remember what my goddamn point was. This is, this is, this is why I'm a comedian. This, like, this, this, can you imagine if I actually had a responsible job? The fuck was I talking about? I was talking about women pissing them off. Oh, then I said black frame glasses, and then that made me thinking of that fucking Rex Reed guy who's actually a critic on the gong show. He's not the Fantastic Four guy. But his last name, his name was Reed, wasn't it? I don't fucking know. All right, Rex Ryan. I'm actually looking it up right now. Rex Ryan. I'm going to see if they're already calling for his job. The New York media, you know, Rex Ryan, New York Post. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Oh, I got nothing yet. No, I probably looked up the wrong thing. I'm the fucking worst when it comes to this shit. New York Post Sports. Here we go. Hey, do you guys think Derek Jeter will go into uh, broadcasting? I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to fucking fade away in a cool way. Like, uh... oh, shit. Struggling Geno screams, fuck you at a fan. After Jets fall to the Lions. Fuck, I had the wrong guy. Dude, I almost called it. Cheater puts fitting Kappa on brilliant career. Ready or not, here comes A-Rod. Oh, my favorite Yankee of all time. Oh, my God. Greatest thing that ever happened was Alex Rodriguez going to the fucking Yankees. Let's see if they got anything. Jets... Um, uh, gang pilot must be bleeping act together. Report card, Jets having D problems. Oh. Well, Red Sox learned from Mariano Fiasco, give Jeter a proper tribute. Oh, did we not give him the right send-off? Oh, go, what the fuck? It's fucking, give me a break. We're supposed to give all of them a send-off? Are you guys going to give Big Poppy your fucking big-time send-off? Jesus Christ. Fucking whining New York media. Bunch of goddamn broads. All right, let's get back. Yeah, you know, you, you learned something with that bad fucking Tupperware party that you threw Mariano Rivera? Well, you know what? Thanks to Mariano Rivera, we fucking blowing that goddamn game. We had the greatest comeback in fucking baseball history. Down three games to none. All right? We gave him his tribute the next year when we were getting our rings and we gave him that big ovation. Ah, God. You know something? That's one thing I don't miss about living in New York is that petty shit. They always think that, like, Boston has issues with New York, you know, which we definitely do. But they got issues with us. So fucking it's kind of even there. Like when we finally won a World Series, those f- pussies actually made a T-shirt that said 26 to 6. Like we have 26 championships to your six. That's how fucking childish they were. After fucking 86 years of rubbing our faces in it, they were going to have one rough winner. Right? Couldn't take it. Had immediately, oh, we got 
26 of them. <laughs> oh, was that a disgraceful moment in your fucking history? Uh, remember my predictions. Women are going to ruin the NFL, take it over within 10 years, and Rex Ryan is going to have a is going to have an altercation with the fan. It already happened with Geno Smith. All right? There we go. I'll see you.